Now there are a ton of videos that you're seeing on YouTube that's teaching you how to grow a business online, but they are all missing this one core step that you must have to be able to be successful with your business. You know, one of the things that you wanna have is being able to increase the high qualities in your business, hundreds of thousands every single month, and also convert those into lifelong customers and clients and sales for your business. But this one step is something that I've seen businesses that are doing six figures, even startups, seven, eight figure businesses are missing out on, and that's costing them millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars at least, years of time to be able to build their business successfully, and also a learning curve that is massive. So what is this one core step and how can you save yourself the risk so you don't even have to suffer from this step? That one core step that everyone's missing. Let's get into it. First thing I want you to do is I want you to comment below and let me know what is the first step that you think or that you do right now to be able to build your business online? What is that first core step? Comment below and then I'll respond and get back to you. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is that you wanna watch till the end of this video because when you stay until the end, I'm gonna give you the proven frameworks, templates, and a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to incorporate this most important step into growing your business online. And that first core step is how you build consistent flow of traffic thousands of traffic, hundreds of thousands of high quality traffic from your target audience into your business online, regardless of what space your industry you're in, regardless of the target audience that you're going for, and whether you're in B2B or a B2C space, it does not matter. This is the core step that every business must follow. This process is the one that I personally use and also the one that we implement for clients to generate the millions of dollars. This is the first core step is generating and increasing that traffic with the foundation of understanding a specific core process. Now, if you do not have this process, this will cost you a ton of time and money, and also failure after failure if you don't know this course step. And that's one of the things, this is one of the most important parts that we use foundationally for my own businesses and also for clients as well. We miss a step, we know we're gonna lose a ton of time and lose a ton of money. Now, if this is the first time you're watching this video, then it means that you probably don't know my story. And I wanna share with you so you know where I'm coming from. So I'm an immigrant that came from Taiwan. My parents brought me here because at that time, this was a long time ago, China said they were gonna attack Taiwan. So as an immigrant coming into Vancouver, growing up, one of the key things that we did, or even for myself and family, we started from the very bottom. And so at that time, when I was at the very bottom, I had thousands of dollars in personal debt and also business debt. So one of the core things why I even got into business was to support my family. And so it was important for me to be able to build a successful business, not to take care of myself, but also for the family and the people that are around me. And so in order to build that business, I started out making a ton of mistakes, failed ventures, but eventually leveraging digital marketing, I was able to a build, be able to build a five-figure, six-figure, seven-figure, and eventually multi-million dollar business using digital marketing. And using the exact process that I'm about to share with you, if I missed out on this process, and I know, is the reason why I failed in my early ventures. And so this process is extremely important for you to know in order to build a successful multi-million dollar company or even a six-figure business or whatever business you want to build. Now, the first cool module for traffic to be able to increase your traffic from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands every single year and then moving them to every single month is we wanna understand who is it that we're going for. It sounds simple, but this is the unique process that I wanna share with you I'm about to walk you through to be able able to understand who we're going for. The first thing is you want to understand is you and me are real human beings. That is what traffic is made up of. So we want to define who it is. So let's get into that core step. What you're looking at on the screen is the ideal client persona. So this is the framework that you're gonna get at the end of this video. You can fill it in, but I wanna walk you through the core parts of each one real quick, and we're gonna dive deeper into each specific part. The first thing that we'll understand is the category is the internal drivers. So the audience that we're going for, they're real people, real human beings, just like you and just like me. And so there's emotional triggers that are tied to certain emotions that we want them to feel when they see your business and your brand, and also the products and the services that you're trying to engage with them. The emotional triggers are things that you want to decide on. What are those things? Is it excitement? Is it sadness? Is it happiness? What are those things that we want our target audience to feel when they see your brand and your business? The second thing is we wanna fo focus on what are the goals, what are the results that we want your target audience to be able to achieve? What are the things that we wanna define for them? What are they really looking for when they wanna buy your product or your service? What should they have in mind when they meet your brand? The next thing is the values. What are the values that you have and also what are the values that the target audience has that they want to bridge with you? You wanna make sure that there's a connection between the values that you set for your business and also the values that your target audience wants to have. The next thing is the current attention. So this basically means 
where are they? Where are they spending their time? Where are they investing their money right now? The first thing I want to look for is the books that they read. Now the books could be fiction, nonfiction, doesn't matter. This is just the books that you know for a fact that are related to the audience that you're going for. The next thing is magazines. What are the magazines that they're subscribing to? The third thing is the blogs and the websites. What are the websites and blogs that they're currently visiting online? The next thing is the conferences or events. What are the conferences, what are the events, what are the meetups that they're currently attending right now? The next thing is gurus or celebrities or any specific person that they're currently following and they resonate with for a specific reason. The next thing is other. So essentially anything else that you can figure out, let's say podcasts, it could be mag uh, podcasts, it could be magazines, it could be uh, platforms like YouTube, Facebook pages, YouTube channels, Instagram pages, whatever it is, where and who do they follow? Now in the middle, you can see there's a persona there. We want to define what is the age range? What is the gender? What is the marital status? Do they have children and what is the age of the children? Where is the location that they're located in? What is the quote that you think resonates with them? What is the occupation that this target audience would hold? What is the job title that they have? What is their annual income? What is the level of education that they have? And any other parts that you think is fit for this target audience. Then we move on to the problems. The problems are things that two specific categories. The problems that they are experiencing right now and how you can solve it. And also the symptoms or the pain points that we can use to be able to leverage this and build it into your product or your service. Now, the next thing is the buying process. So the buying process goes into current options that they currently have to solve the problems and achieve the results that they have. For example, in fitness, there's multiple different ways to be able to lose weight. You can take supplements, you can work out at the gym, you can hire a personal trainer, you can be able to eat less, you can take a course, you can read a book. There's so many different options. What is the options that your current target audience has other than buying your product or your service to achieve that result they want? The next thing is the objections to the sale. So anytime your target audience meets your brand, there's always friction with them. So why are they not buying your product or your service? You wanna figure out what are the objections that they have? What are the challenges, the barriers? I can tell you four right now. Money, time, belief in your product or service, and belief in themselves. Those are the four core ones. The next and final one that we want to find is what is the role in the purchasing process? And what does that process look like? So for example, when someone buys a car, the process is very different from when someone buys a box of candies. It's very different in terms of the way that they make the decisions because of the price point, because of the, the use of the product. All these different things are important for the, you to understand to define the target audience. Now that we know how to define the first core part of the process of increasing your traffic, let's go into the second core aspect, which is the most important part. And this second core aspect has three components to it. The first thing that we want to do is we want to look at your competitors the top eight to 10 competitors that are selling the products and services that you have. We wanna go on Google, we wanna type in your product or your service, type in your industry, and we'll look at the first page of Google to look at the top 10 people that are on that page. So for example, you can type in, let's say your product, let's say it's a fitness product, supplements in, uh, for men. Then you type it in there, you look at Google, you look at the first 10 results that are on the first page, that's the first core thing. The second thing, once we have that list of top 10 people on the first page, click on every single one of them, including the ads, and we look at how are they constructing their website. What is the content that they have on their blog? What are the videos that they have? Do they have any videos? What are the web pages that they have? How are they structuring their website flow? What are the colors that they're using? What is the copywriting that they're using on the first banner, on the bottom, the middle section, at the bottom as well, in the middle, bottom, throughout the page construction that they're building on? and also all the things that they're building on their website. You wanna do a deep dive on the top 10 competitors on the first page of Google. Because one of the core things that this helps us understand is these people are ranking in the first page for organic results. And also at the same time, they're most likely spending ads, uh, spending money on ads to amplify the traffic. So understand how they've designed and how they've done this by doing a deep dive on each one. Now the third core thing that we wanna to do to be able to really hone in on this is using website tools like SimilarWeb. SimilarWeb allows you to analyze certain websites to understand how they're getting the traffic, what are the rankings that they have across all the different industries or in your specific industry, where are they getting traffic from, the top three, five referral traffic sources, are they spending money on ads? The similar web allows you to understand this as well. The second thing you can use is called Ahrefs, which is an Amazon owned company, which allows you to do the same thing. You can see what are the website analysts, what are the traffic, how are they getting it, how are they setting it up. The third thing you use, you can use BuzzSumo to understand the content that they have on their site, 
what is the most popular ones, how they're running it, what are the things that work. So using these three core tools, we amplify this whole process. And so when we understand your target audience and also how they're bridging it with your top 10 competitors on the first page of Google, then we understand the traffic side and dive even deeper. So this second quarter part of the process with these three components is gonna be vital to be able to understand how to drive more traffic. Now the next core piece, now we understand your organic traffic and how your competitors are building it. What's even more important is what are they spending hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars on every single year to buy the traffic that they want to get to their website. How are they getting the eyeballs of your target audience to go on their site? If they're spending money to it, then they're putting with their money where their mouth is. And so when you're able to understand where that traffic is coming from and also how they're getting it onto the site, it's gonna be a vital piece of information for you to be able to build that onto your own website. So two tools that we use in-house to do this. The first one is called SEM Rush. SEM Rush allows you to go on your on the website, you type in your competitors, it'll literally show you what are the keywords that they're trying to pay money on to be able to rank for on Google. What are the top referral sources of traffic that they're aiming for? That's the first thing, the SEM Rush tool. The second thing is what runs where. Now, what runs where is another tool that allows you to show the creatives that your target audience is running, what are the platforms that they're spending money on, and it's like a duality. The SEM Rush shows you keywords, Google stuff more heavily, and what runs where shows you more of the Facebook, Google display, and potentially even YouTube, where they're driving the traffic from and how they're spending their money. When we understand how your competitors are, what they're, how they're spending it, what they're spending it on, then we can figure out the referral sources that work best for you. Now the next core part of this process we wanna understand is the current state of mind for your target audience. What are they searching for? What are the problems, the questions, the things that they're thinking about that you can use to be able to increase your traffic? So one of the things that we can do is simply go on Google again. You wanna type in your industry, your project service, and type in plus forum. So this allows you to see the current forums that your target audience has already made to be able to speak on that specific subject that they're on, whether that's fitness, whether that's beauty and skincare, whether that's a B2B industry, whatever it is, there's forums, there's groups that are already created across multiple social media platforms that you can use to understand what language are they using. This is gonna be very vital for us in the next course step. But for now, we wanna understand what your target audience is searching for, what are they saying, what questions are they asking. Now here's some few sites that you can use that we use as well to do some very important research. The first thing that we look at is we go on Quora.com. Quora allows you to see the specific questions people are posting, insights, answers, topics and discussions based on certain different topics or you can use it for your specific industry. The next thing you can use is answers.com. This is another site you can see people go on and they wanna get answers. So they go on there, they type in the questions and you can find out specific ways of how they're speaking and what are the questions that they have. Two more important tools that you want to use to figure out how to increase your traffic is using Google Trends and Google Keyword Planner. These are both free tools and they're very powerful and they're simple to use as well. You can go on Google Trends and be able to figure out what are the specific industry keyword terms, the demographic, the audience, what is the times that are the most engaging with them, all these different metrics that Google provides for you for free. You can go on Google Trends to figure this out. The next thing you can use, again, is another free tool offered by Google is Google Keyword Planner. Google Keyword Planner shows you what are the top search words that your target audience is looking for in your industry and how much it's costing right now to bid for that. You can look at how much it is, how much search volume and traffic it is to find out what relevant keywords your target audience is searching for that we can use to leverage into increasing your traffic. All these sites, and there's a lot more that I'm gonna show with you in the expanded post, but these are the top four places in this video I'm gonna share with you to go on. You can do some very important and vital foundational research to increase your traffic. It's understanding the questions and what your target audience is already saying. Then we're gonna go into how to leverage it to increase your traffic. Now, one of the core ways that you can really leverage to grow your business online, increase your traffic, is using one of the largest e-commerce websites in the world. Amazon.com. You go on Amazon.com, there's three core ways. You type in your product or your service or your industry, you use these three core ways, and then you figure out what are the top products, what are the top books, what are the top things that people are selling and people are actually buying with their hard-earned money to rank really high on Amazon. You look at the first page of the results, you look at from one to 10, and you figure out what are the top products there. That's one piece of data point that you wanna make sure that you have. The second thing is we wanna click through on each of these products. We wanna look at the reviews. We wanna look at what are the customers that have already bought this product, this book, this whatever it is that they're selling, and then what are they saying about it? What do they hate about this product? What do they hate about this book? What do they love about it? 
And the same thing, what do they hate about it? And what are they saying about it? What are the things that they hate about it? Once we compile this language pattern, this text, this copy that your target audience is using, we're gonna be able to leverage it to increase your traffic. Another way that's extremely underappreciated, undervalued to be able to increase your traffic is mystery shopping your competitors. You wanna make sure you pick up that phone and you buy the products and services that your target audience is already buying and you wanna do a few things on this process. You wanna ask some critical questions to understand how are they selling your target audience? How do they have that conversation? And then you can also pretend that you're a customer or a client to basically mystery shop them and understand where they're getting their traffic. Where are they getting the people that are in their business? You go on the phone, you talk to that salesperson, that customer service, and you figure out, you know, you guys have a great product. Like, where are your people coming from? Like, how are you guys making the product? You wanna understand and get competitive data to be able to use that in your own business. The second way that you wanna do this is you wanna interview your 10 best customers or your clients to be able to understand what are the, why do they buy your product or your service? What resonated with them the most? What made them make the decision to part with their harder money and buy with you? What are the decisions that they had to make in their mind? What are the top three things that are the most important to them? Mystery shopping, interviewing your top 10 best customers and clients, or even your top 100 best customers and clients will give you a field of valuable insights and data that you can leverage to increase your traffic. Now that you have so many different ways to be able to figure out what your competitors are doing, you're defining your ideal client persona, you're only on Amazon, you're getting all this information, this knowledge from priceless resources, how do we leverage it, right? That's one of the key things I kept mentioning. There's two core ways now that we can leverage this. The first core way is all this content, the ideal audience persona that you've gathered, you should be able to see critical insights and your mind should be firing with a ton of ideas. The first core way is we use the language, we use what your target audience is saying, and we build content around that for your website. Going from your web pages, from the content, the videos that you have, the podcast or whatever content, written content you produce, and also on your social media, we wanna use all the stuff that you've gathered that your target audience is saying that's important to them and what's not important to them and use it on the content that everything that you do for your business going forward. The second thing that we use it for is your digital advertising campaigns or your paid media. Anything that you're spending ads on that we've identified earlier on, we can use it on Facebook, YouTube, Google, search, Google display, native advertising on Outbrain, Taboola, whatever it is, ad roll, you can use all these things and guess what? You don't have to come up with a ton of content or a ton of copy. You have certainty, clarity, and direction of what you need to do to be able to create successful campaigns because you've already done all the foundational important research on the principles that matter through all the things that I just shared with you. Now, if you are able to, at this point, see how powerful this is, you can leverage it in so many different ways. And it'll save you a ton of time and money trying to figure out things that may not even work that you spend harder money on. The biggest mistake that I said early on was that these businesses, they focus on assumptions. They come up with things that they think is gonna work for their target audience without validating that specific idea. They don't know what they don't know, and they test things that are based on their assumptions. You wanna test things that are based on proven knowledge and proven things that you can gather on the process that I just shared with you. This is how you leverage to increase your traffic from hundreds of thousands every single year to tens to hundreds of thousands every single month. This is how you leverage and increase your traffic. Now that you know the invaluable process to be able to increase your traffic into the hundreds of thousands every single year and maybe potentially move that to every single month, what are the key steps, the frameworks, the templates, the step-by-step -step walkthrough? I wanna share that with you on the Digital Market University on bensonson.com, a step-by-step -step walkthrough post of how you can successfully implement this process for your business online to increase your traffic. I'm gonna give you a real-world application of a client or an actual business on how to walk you through the step on how to implement this. Now, three things I want you to do is I want you to comment below. I want you to let me know what are the first core step that you're gonna take after you watch this video and what is one insight that you've gained from this video? You can share either or, or you can comment below and let me know any questions that you have from watching this video and I'll personally respond to you. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to like this video. It shows me that you got value from this content and incentivizes me to continue to develop this and create real world trenches experience videos like this for you to grow your business online. I don't make any money from this. This is for me to give back from where I'm at right now. And the third core thing I want you to do that's the most important is I want you to subscribe right there. You see my face? Right there, I'm doing this or something. I want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and join one of the fastest growing YouTube communities. There's two to 300 new entrepreneurs every single day that are joining this channel and learning how to grow their business online with proven digital marketing. So go on there, I want you to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you see and receive more value from this and I'll see you in the next video.